All right, today I want to touch on the subject of witchcraft. Uh, while I was in Charleston, I seen something that kind of surprised me, but it didn't. I seen voodoo dolls for sale. Yes, they was made up, beautiful colors, very attractive for girls to be like, Oh, hey, mommy, 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 I want one. Voodoo dolls is used for witchcraft. The Bible speaks against this. Yes, you could have good intentions of buying it and be like, oh, it's just some pretty something or another. Or, but if it is a tool of Satan. He twists things around to make it look good, like the end of time says. Uh, it says, good will be evil, and evil will be good. I'm just paraphrasing it. I can't remember exactly where it's at. But it is in there. If you got a question where it's at, I'll look it up. Just You just say in the comments, like, where does it say that? I uh, will look it up and show it to you. Or maybe I'll make another video another time that talks about it. But right now I am talking about witchcraft. We all know that witchcraft is a thing of Satan. It's a tool of Satan. People was like, oh, that's just Old Testament time. Oh, that's just the Bible thing. No, people practice witchcraft to this day. Voodoo dolls is a thing that is mainly voodoo people from, I think it's Africa, I think is known for voodoo. But in fact, a big percentage of it is people that practice voodoo and not Christians. And then, of course, the almighty witch board, the Ouija board. I have seen this at Walmart, I've seen it at Target, I've seen it at these stores for sale in a game area, I've seen these game places sell it, like it's some kind of a game. Well, it is not. And I am going to share some scripture with you that talks against it, against witchcraft. I ain't going to go too deep into it, but I will show you some scripture where it talks about so you need to avoid, even if, you're, if your little little girl says, Oh, it's so pretty, I want it. It might say stuff on it like, uh, send off good vibes, or help your wealth, or so on and so forth. And yeah, the stuff don't sound evil. But when you're practicing the stuff, you're practicing stuff for Satan, not God. God is the one... It's going to show you love. He's going to help you out. Satan's going to make it look and seem as good as possible, as easy as possible. But in the end, if you're living for Satan, you're going to burn in hell for eternity. And you're going to see that that easy life has a hard ending. Like the rich man. Just wants to cool the tip of his tongue. It's hot. That's a whole subject for another time. All right, let's go to the scripture. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. And when they said to you, Seek those who are madams and wizards, who whisper and mutter, should not people seek their God, as in the God above? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? Uh, that's saying right here was talking about the witch Ouija board. You're talking, supposedly talking to the dead to communicate with the living. But you should be seeking God. It goes on to say, to the law and to the testimony, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. People that practice witchcraft, there is no light, there is darkness. Satan runs that. He rules that. Yeah. Things might seem well and good. You might end up getting all this fortune here on earth. You might get all this satisfaction for this earthliness. But 
it is not satisfying to God because you're serving the wrong God. You're serving the little G God. 21 goes on to say, They will pass through it hard, pressed, and hungry, and it shall happen when they are hungry, that they will be enraged and curse their king and their god, as in the big god, the big G, and look upward. Then they will look to the earth and see terrible and darkness, gloom and ang anguish, anguish, and they will be driven into darkness. Now, what this part, this verse is talking about is the longer that you're in it, the deeper you're going to get. The, the harder your heart's going to get, the more you're going to anger at people and you want to take out, uh, you want to take out your anger on stuff. Now, I've got some more scripture to share with you. In the book, Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 14. When you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn the following that of abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or daughter pass through the fire or one who practices witchcraft or a sooth soothsayer or one who in trumpets omens or a sorcerer or one who conjure conjures spe, conjure spells look over me because I'm a horrible reader or a medium or a spirit or one who calls up the dead. For all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of their abomination, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God for those nations which you will dispose listened to so sayers and diviners but as for you the Lord your God has not appointed such for you and that right there says it straight up uh, all the different diff diff things uh, you're to avoid anything that has anything to do with witchcraft, casting spells, or, or or any of this stuff. So if you get a voodoo doll, and say your little girl is playing with the voodoo doll, you've got cartoons out here that teaches you how to do voodoo dolls. Whether they're just a play-in or not, that still, that play-in will be played out. Eventually, they're going to get curious and want to try it for real. And whenever they try it for real, whether anything happens or not, they'll get a, a Ouija board and they will try to talk to the dead. Uh, let's just say Satan does come in and he actually makes that thing move. I've never played with one. Haven't had really a, too much of a desire to even fool with it. But at one point in time in sin, I wondered... Is it for real or is it not? Well, I just never wanted to mess with it. Voodoo dolls, never really ever seen them out and about until here last, well, this is the first time I've seen where they have different ones. And here's a picture of it. Yes, the ways of sin 
seems all fun and games. It seems so pleasurable. We are born in sin. Sin is gives you pleasure. I mean, because your human instincts it's like, ooh, this is fun. But whenever you start living for the Lord, things start to change and stuff don't seem to be so much fun or you see the dark side of it. Uh, here, piece of advice. If you go to a store, they sell these little voodoo dolls. It's only literally about this tall. Steer your child away from it because it looks pretty. It's supposed to be tempting to the eye so that way they can play with it and satan can inch his way into that household and then of course there's the almighty witch board aka ouija board man i would love to talk to that loved one they say this stuff works it's just a game well let's 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 just play with it and see See what happens. It's not just a game. Life is not a game. Don't play with it. Satan is deadly. That's his main objective. Is death. Death without the Lord. He doesn't care about you. He never will care about you. He just wants to take as many people from the Lord as possible. There's my message for the day. Yourself, Have yourself a blessed day. And I got to get ready for church because it's Wednesday and it's getting close to church time. God bless everybody. To keep up with the new posts, be sure and subscribe and hit that bell to follow. If you like what you see and what you hear, be sure and hit that like button and make sure you share it with all your friends. Leave me a comment on what you think about the video, any suggestions.